What a scumbag. Apparently the game, the game doesn't think it'd be a good idea to save her at any point. Why doesn't the game just like auto save every couple of minutes or something? Ding dong. <laughs> oh my life. Guys, what is going on? Why is my Euro truck completely just ripped? Let's have a look at the last thing that it did. Maximal water... What's this? What's this? Maximal water level count 2 exceeded. What's that about? Are you running VSync off some nasty tearing on Twitch? No, I have VSync on. The last three lines, have a look at this one. This was the previous one, and this is the latest one. And the last three lines are the same. It's the Hempam chassis. Failed to open file, chassis.sii. So how do I find out? It's going great, ProRus. <laughs> There are too many water different service sites, mainly because of the algorithm of reflection rendering. How do we find out which mod is actually generating this problem then? Aye, 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 aye. Swanee, did you update your video drivers lately? Uh, yes, I did. I updated the NVIDIA drivers on Thursday to the latest ones. Why is that a problem? But these, look, the last three lines here and the last three lines here are exactly the same. That's not a coincidence, is it? Find Hempam chassis trailer map in your game and search for a name in a text file. Have a look. A quick Google shows it's a heavy trailer pack. Are you asking me or telling me? <laughs> Check out Toromatic. It's fun with ETS. Well, there's nothing coming up for Hempam there. So there's a lot of Jazzy Cat stuff. Stereo black stuff for low bed trailer. Could be that. Works at 127 and above. It's the trailers you're using. Could it be some of these ones then? I already have all of Jazzy Cat's latest stuff, ETS2. There's the error message again. Uh, Dat Nope Legend. Hello, Squirrel Loving stream so far. Rip ETS2 keeps crashing on you. I know, right? <laughs> Thank you, Dat Nope. Sorry it's crashing. I'm trying to figure out what it is. The Mammoth Tanker. the fuel tanker which is the 
Which is the mammoth one? This one. That's not enabled. I don't have that enabled. Fuel tanker mod is by Hempem. If, if you're referring to this, it's not enabled. Look, it's grey. Find mods from the Hempam group. And how do I do that, Whiteland? So that says it's compatible with 128. Yeah, but I don't see any of those PC tech in the in my list here. Author equals hempam group. Um, are you talking about searching the file system, Whiteland? Squirrel tanker is a skin for the hemp. All right, let's get rid of. Um, Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Let's get rid of those two. I'm going to get rid of that one as well because I don't know about that one. Keep the Dolvario. Heavy haul chassis for DEF XF. That's the one we're using now. Okay. Yeah, no, Whiteland. I'm just trying to work out which ones to get rid of, but I've got rid of the two tanker ones in case they're using the hempam stuff. Cerebrax is for Lobo Trailer and Dolvario. I suppose they could, in theory, clash with each other. Let's get rid of that one. It's going to reset the economy. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it will, Connor. You can't avoid that. We'll just find another job. Which city was we in then? I'll just teleport back there. Yeah, if you take out a mod that um, has things in the job market, almost always resets the job market. Is it poor, Vu? I don't know. <laughs> That's why I'm asking. I don't know. Look into your car path. The last goat is the city. Your career path. Pro Mods does not work 128.218. Yes, it does. They released a, a 128 compatible version. Here's Juan Martin. He's uh, Juan Cheat's brother. Baz, that's another can gone, mate. Dark times. That's one step closer to no spezzy. Having tried, Baz, having tried the can and the bottle, yeah, so I've tried these two. This is the polymer spezzy, and this one is the um, spezzy spezzy. I don't know. I prefer the taste of the can. Yeah, I've got some left. I've got a few left. Maybe about 
Half a carry bag, 10 maybe. Let's see what's here for us. Leopard. Yeah, I'll take the leopard. 35 tons sounds fun. What's the chances that we've fixed it? Hm. Ouch. Chances are close to zero. Wanting a Spezia is ten dollars on Amazon US. Connor, don't just don't buy that. That's just ridiculous. Well, we'll see X3. If it crashes again, I think we'll be done. <laughs> I mean, bear in mind, Connor, they're like, you don't know, 50 cents or something in Germany. $10 for a can? I mean, it's not gold. See, the crashing is intermittent, and it points towards something that as you drive around the map, it's something that spawns in that crashes. So if it was, for example, a fuel tanker, that would work, because you don't see fuel tankers all that often. When one spawns in that's based on that trailer, it crashes. Baz, the bottle is Rigel uh, from Augsburg, and the can is Polymer from Munich. Both, of us, both are the only ones allowed to use by the name, but they have slightly different recipes. I like the Polymer better as well. I find it slightly less, um, slightly less sickly, Baz, the polymer one. That makes sense. Let's see how far we can get. Have you ever thought about doing real estate? What do you mean, doing real estate, James? You mean be like being a real estate agent? No. Wow. All of them makes a real nice beer. This is from someone who does not like beer. <laughs> well, that is a testament. This guy makes really good sprouts, and that's coming from somebody that can't stand sprouts. <laughs> How does that work? Is it just you, or is my mic glitching? What do you mean by glitching? 
describe what you mean, what's happening. Uh, Scrub, streaming on YouTube didn't work out for you, would you consider being a truck driver? Nah. What I would do is go back to what I do, or have done, for many years. I just go straight back into IT. I'm always being contacted by um, companies that want to basically hire me for IT development. I have a decent CV, well, pretty good CV, and I could walk back into a job if I need to. But I don't want to, I want to do this. Uh, I don't know, James. It's, why would I think that YouTube will be shut down? <laughs> I don't know. There's a constant beeping, like the mic has a Nile inside. Well, let me say the audio files in chat, he would definitely know that if there was a beeping coming out of my microphone. So I'm thinking it's fairly unlikely. Possibly your headphones. I don't think there's an issue with the sound. Oh. Unless he means a turbo whistle, Whiteland. <laughs> I don't know. Not wrong with my mark. Um, RSW. Thanks for the entertainment. Greetings from Switzerland. Wow, thank you for that. Appreciate that, RSW. Thank you for the support. Greets back at you, sir. RSW, did you see my uh, train sim video, the Arosa line? Set in Switzerland. Is that something you've ever been on? Because I quite fancy it. NPR, how you doing? I often think when I see this trailer that the mod author was just very, very lazy. He was like, well, I could model a tank, but I've got a better idea. I shall model a covered tank. <laughs> that will take me a long time to do. World Markets and Spezzy oh, to me is 75 miles away. Wow. Jules, nice to have something to fall back and if streaming fails at any point. Yeah, but as time goes on, Jules, it'll become, you know, your, your skills get more and more rusty. I mean, it's already been, what, two and a bit years? So, that's recoverable. I could I could soon polish things up and get going again. But if, if it was like five, six years, could get a bit more tricky. Oh my god. Oh, the mod author was thinking about my polygon count. Ah, uh, I understand now, Whiteland. Uh, Yoshi fan, good night. See you Thursday. How are your flying skills going? Yeah, we, uh, th Wednesdays, yeah, Wednesdays flying was, um, abruptly cut short due to bad weather. But I managed to get a couple of heavy crosswind landings with a broken aircraft, so that was pretty good. This week I'm flying on Thursday. If the weather's good, I'll be doing more circuits. I'll be doing lots of takeoffs and landings. So it's, uh, very intense, you know. It takes a lot of focus. You think my summer car's worth buying, trucker? I don't know. 
Somebody was watching my wife on the car stream yesterday and they bought it and they're frustrated. Because it's a frustrating game, so... You need patience and tenacity. If you, if you don't possess any of those things, I would stay clear of my summer car. Why are you obsessed with Spezzy? I wouldn't say I'm obsessed with it. I like it, and I can't get it in this country. I'm not obsessed with it. How many lessons do you have all together? You have to have a minimum of 45 hours of flying. Pass nine exams. And do a check ride involving a journey that lands at at least two runways and is over 150 miles. And then you get your license. So I've still got quite a ways to go yet. No, I've not done any of the written tests yet. I've got to do the LL one soon. I plan to focus on that probably January. gonna get a private jet dude <laughs> you have any idea how expensive flying is a private jet let's just say no uh, spliff I can't read that because you put a lot of quotes and stuff and so nut slammer didn't like it just take out some of the commas and things and it should read it should go through Plans to stop after a couple of years. Do you want to be a content creator for the rest of your life, Harun? Harun. Uh, I don't really have a plan for when I want to end doing this. I've never really had a plan like that. Yeah, you can rent a plane, Compu Freak. Of course you can. How much do flying lessons cost? Uh, 140 pounds an hour. Yes, 140. And that's in a Robin. If you want to fly on a Cessna 182, a lesson will cost you about 175 an hour. Although you can hire the Cessna 172 for about 150 without the instructor. And that's just a little Cessna, so have a think about how much a private jet might cost you. Well, there's a problem with going flying with Jeff, Kelly. And the problem is that I live in the UK and he lives in Louisiana. <laughs> if Twitch stopped today, would you consider streaming elsewhere? There's a lot of conjective kind of what if scenarios here. Connor, if Twitch stopped tomorrow, I would just go and focus on YouTube. That's what I would do. There's no other viable streaming platform yet. If YouTube shut down tomorrow, I would just stream. And if they both shut down, I would go and get a job. <laughs> it's that simple. But well, what's the point of thinking things like that? So waiting for you to fly with the Norwegian coast to pick me up from some French lunch in Paris. <laughs> it's quite a flight from Norway down to France, Whiteland. I think it would be better to go via Sweden and Denmark. And you're stopped because... Newcastle upon Tyne. He's a little bit out of his... Uh comfort zone <coughs> would you still keep your G27 if you went and got a job nah
Yeah, there are some pretty random questions, Hans. <laughs> you want to see the truck? Yep. There you go, Roy. What sort of development? Uh, really joke. Towards the end, I was doing Salesforce stuff. Which, funnily enough, Twitch was hiring Salesforce developers uh, last month. I noticed a job advert for that. So clearly Twitch is using Salesforce as well now, which is hilarious. They were hiring for people who knew stuff about Twitch and Salesforce, and I was like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Tony Bammy, thank you for subbing. Welcome to the house. Can we give Tony, Tony Bammy, I think it is, a nutty welcome? Thank you for your support. Welcome to the community, Tommy Bammy. If you just sub today, and you want to know about your benefits, just ask a mod. They'll help you out. Yes, yachts. I, I'm focused a lot more on uh, road racing than oval racing or eye racing. Tough. Salesforce bought by Microsoft? No. Microsoft has the Azure platform. Proud to be finally one of the nutters, Tony. Nice. Do you like the Samsung Note 8? I don't have a Note 8. I have a Galaxy S8. I've not tried a Note 8. I didn't know one existed. Baz, working on it, bro. Working on it. Just need to get Dre to um, free up some time. Oh, that was close. Looney Lime, 20 months. I think I missed that one. Thank you, Looney Lime. Well, don't say that, Jules, because, you know, it might crash. The Note 8 specs are a little disappointing. I don't know. No idea. I missed yours as well, Ready to Rock. What? I never saw you. I literally can't see yours, Ready to Rock. I'm scrolling all the way back till half past seven and I can't see yours. Nope, I don't see it. Isn't the uh, Apple iPhone 8 coming out September the 12th or something? It's going to get announced. Now, Bass's chat color is yellow on screen. It's not the chat colour in your chat box. <laughs> no, no, they've said... Uh, actually, they've said that announcing it on the 12th, but expect it to ship in September. So, they're probably already manufacturing them right now. I think the... Uh, I watched a video on the rumour mill, which basically said 
They reckon they're going to go for like edge to edge screen like the Samsung. Probably get rid of the home button which will be like a first in the iPhone. Wireless charging all that stuff. A 2006 Cessna 172 so 169, what thousand dollars presumably? Four K 60 FPS front and back. Imagine the memory storage space you're going to need for that. It's going to be hilarious. People start recording 60 FPS 4K videos on their iPhone, and their storage requirements are going to go through the roof. I think we have a photograph here of this trailer. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No, they, they don't overcharge for the storage sheet bandits. I think the, um, the, the iTunes storage space is better than Google's in terms of value for money. It's pretty cheap. WJ, six months, two thirds of a Twitch baby. <laughs> Thank you, WJ. Oh, I need to get a photograph with these uh, buildings in the background. Jules, I like my fingerprint recognition feature on the phone. Oh, yeah, they'll still keep that. They're talking about, you know, the, um, you know, the, uh, the tab, uh, the IMAX and stuff, not the IMAX, the, um, the MacBooks, yeah, how oh, they've got that, that light bar on the top now. They're talking about they might use that technology in the iPhone at the bottom bit. Oh yeah, the memory options on the phone. Yeah, they're a total rip off you, Bandit. Complete rip off. Like, I'll jump up 100 quid for 30 gig. Having said that, memory prices around the world have gone up substantially lately. So all memory is now a lot more expensive. And that's going to be no different for a phone than it is for your PC's memory. Expected Tuesday 5.09 to 11. It's actually expecting a sleep, but I don't know if we've got anywhere to rest. Uh, there's one. I like drive control. Eight. Hello, Paul. Since we're talking about uh, chat colors, let's get my fourth account a bit close to yellow. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Glad call. Thank you for the resume. Prime members get unlimited photo storage. Uh, what, on Amazon? Is it just photo storage, or...? Price difference between 16 and a 64 gig iPhone 6. 6, Connor? What's the 7 like? Vita Limited. Has we got a cheeky repair while we're here? You're lucky that work buys your iPhones. You are lucky.
Uh, cricketer, good night, sir. Get Netflix for free, you scumbag. Luke storage options iPhone 8. Five, the, what, 512 gig version? Woof. Wowzers. Do you know that Paulie has that skin for the Scania too, Raye? <laughs> Do you know that Paulie's the one that made it and he releases it and was in chat earlier, Raye? I don't make them, he makes them. Bowsy, thank you for 11 months. 1200 dollars you can get a higher spec machine. Oh yeah, the rumour mill said as well, they may go for having three models rather than two. And the top one being like a, the third one being like a high spec version. Uh, Nick Succi, so is the Galaxy mate, they're all overpriced. truck license for fun Alan mm. I don't think I would because like with the flying thing I'll be you know I'll be wanting to hire aircraft and take the GoPros up and go flying but with the truck license I wouldn't really do that I wouldn't just hire a truck for fun I don't think sunrise hype down to Jersey one day. Oh, you mean fly over? Yeah, the first place I'd like, I'd fly outside of the mainland would probably be like Isle of, Isle of Wight or something. Because my flying club does day, like, day trips every now and again to the Isle of Wight. Yes, it will, Tootsie. You know, so far I've not refueled once. <laughs> and the entire evening we've not refueled. A guy called, an actor called Guy Henry, who did works in the medical drama hobby city, did a coach license for fun and took paying passengers. Lol. No, Tyler, I'm not. I'm not going to play Destiny 2. I got the T-shirt because it was like games come free loot, and I quite like the shirt. Uh, yeah, I've seen the EasyJet stuff. It's quite good. It's quite good watching it. I want you play because there are too many games to play already and Destiny is a game that demands a lot of time I don't have that time
Do I think track hour is good value for money? Hmm. I don't know. I mean, there are cheaper solutions that you can get. Track hour is very good at what it does. My only... My only kind of... Um, my only issue with track IR is that this thing here is flimsy. The technology works perfectly. The camera sits on your monitor. This is the weakest point. There are cheaper solutions, but track IR does its job very well. I mean, you can get the track hat, which is a passive system. See, the head tracking starts and only uses the usual webcam seems to work pretty well. No, I haven't seen that. You get sick with track IR, John Fly. Wow. You definitely will not be able to go VR then. If track IR makes you sick, VR will make you throw. How far to go? 75 kilometers. lights on. How heavy is the hull? I think it's 35. 35 ton leopard. I understand what you're saying, Full Metal Dragon, but Track AR does have the ability to adjust the scaling. Like, it's all under your control. You can make oh, it one to one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, the, for the early stages of turning and then gear it up later. Uh, Jules, I've tried the group VR simulators. Did you like it, Jules? Do you think Twitch is scumbag? Can you add a bit more context around that statement? I'll try it again, but use it only for pattern entry and exit, John Fly. Why don't you just try it, John Fly, in Eurotruck, rather than flying around, and see if you can get used to it? Because you can restrict the plane of movement to just left and right if you really want to. You don't have to have the up and down. And I turn off the twist completely. Now you can have my profile if you want. And see how you get on with it. Because you don't need to look around in a truck quite as much. You're generally only looking laterally, you know. Whereas in a plane, you're like looking up and down and all this kind of thing. You might find it easier to get on with. Dude, I've stopped. Continue. Uh, Primitives Australian. Do you want to read the chat reels before you fall foul of them? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. oh my god, I'm just going to go. Stupid AI. <laughs> right, are the squirrel logos in the truck different colours or just red? You can choose whatever colour you want. There's a bunch of... Well, no, that's not true. You can choose from a bunch of colours. I chose red. There's orange, yellow, white, green, blue. There's a limited selection, but you can choose different colours.
I think that car at the roundabout was an insurance fraud scam. Uh, yes, there are chain boost. Uh, so the the drive wheels are different to the steering wheels or the non-drive wheels. So if you look at the rims, the ones that are inwards are the drive wheels, yeah? And they're a lot wider, the two tyres. That's why they, they go in like that. Whereas the front one and the back one are steering axles and they're only single. Don't care. So he crashed into me. I get an offence and a 1% damage. <laughs> he can't win. Because the thing is, is the AI never gets punished for anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. Jules, I wasn't too bad, but kept falling because they don't have chairs in the game. Oh, right, okay. I got you. Yeah. The worst ones you can play are games like pool table games where you're supposed to lean over. You can't... You just can't play those in VR. You know, like darts and stuff is fine. Shooting stuff is fine. But the moment you have something where you're supposed to, like, rest on a table, like snooker or pool, it just doesn't work with VR. True calm, truck and cargo. That's a big McDonald's. Well, you could set up a pool table, Full Metal Dragon. But let's be honest, you might as well just have a pool table than do VR. <laughs> I mean, if you're going to go to the trouble of setting up a pool table, why not just get a pool table and play that? I do like this gate mod. I'm trying to wonder why these guys want to tank, though. Oh, what? Oh, it's not okay to drop it this way. We specifically want the tiger tank facing the other way. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, GD, the yeah, yeah, yeah comes out of the Mice and Macar game. Man, there's just nowhere to turn around here. This is a scumbag. Luckily, the front car park was empty. Uh, Super Subs, I love you, Squirrel. Thank you, Super Subs. <laughs> the game is trolling me hard tonight. It's not been easy, is it? Those crashes seem to have gone, though. I guess it was the fuel tanker. And we did it all on one tank of fuel, eh? That's not bad.
take you 35 to 40 minutes to park. Just practice, John. That's all it is. Practice. Level 73. More XP in the bank. Uh, DJ Transfer, thank you for the resume. Thank you, Casper Dog. You don't think you've ever got out the car park? <laughs> yeah, the lawnmower. We have Whiteland to thank for the lawnmower X3. Should we invest some money and buy this thing? Yeah, why not? We now own this. It means we can now sleep here. I was gonna I was gonna upgrade it, I thought, yeah. There we go. That is the end of another Sunday Night Trucking. I enjoyed it. I think we created a lovely truck here. Really, really nice to have. Drives really well. Had a major incident dropping that um, heavy trailer off in the quarry bit, you remember? Which is a bit of a problem. Few game crashes, which I think we fixed. Apologies for that. But on the other hand, I enjoyed tonight. Next week... Uh, on Sunday Night Trucking, I should be showing you an early view of a mod. I'm not going to say any more than that, because it may or may not happen. But uh, it's a mod that's work in progress, and I've got access to it, or should have access to it, so that should look pretty tasty. I'm hoping it'll look nice and be a cool little mod. So, other than that, um, yeah, normal stream schedule next week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Hope you had fun. I know some people are going back to work and back to school this week, and, you know, holidays are over, humbug, blah, blah, blah. It's September now, unfortunately, which means we're on the road to Christmas, on that downhill slope, straight into Christmas. You're going to be in Germany, Dave. Enjoy Germany. Bring me some spicy back, Dave. Specifically this one. <laughs> I hope you all have a great week. What are you doing? I shall kick off the playlist after tonight's stream. So about 10 minutes later, I'll kick off the playlist, which will run back through the streams from the weekend, uh, which was Long Dark, My Summer Car, and then Sunday Night Trucking. Uh, massive GGs to the mod team and the admin team and all the other people that uh, help out in the background. Please send them some love and GGs, guys. Thank you for all your support. Wouldn't be doing this without you. And uh, yeah, that's it. Busy week ahead. I'll be back on Thursday. Hope you all have a great week, whatever you do it. I'll be cracking out some videos tomorrow as well, so um, watch out for those. But other than that, I'm out of here. If you want to stick around and watch the playlist, do so. Otherwise, I'll see you on Thursday. Uh, stuff should be going out on Squirrel Plus, so if you want to watch it there, you can do, but that'll be out in a couple of days for Sunday Night Trucking. Right, take it easy, guys. Love you all. Good night.